and we're live. And I even remember to put out the tweet early, so Yahoo. <laughs> <laughs> hey folks, it's Thursday night. You know what that means? Murder Hobo Week uh, continues on with the soap opera that is Cacophony, <laughs> our urban adventures. Uh, if you've been here before, welcome back. If this is your first time watching, hang on to your ass. It's going to get wild. Don't forget, we are for mature audiences only. So if swearing offends you, you need to get the fuck out right now uh don't forget to follow us on twitch follow us on twitter uh take a look at our youtube archive if you want to buy our cool stuff uh it's down there somewhere if you want to join us in discord chat it's down there you'll notice i'm using the left hand today for a long time <laughs> instead of this one uh most importantly if you want to be on this show or be on our talk show Go ahead and let us know. M Hobo Inc. either at Twitter or Gmail. Same thing. Uh, let us know your interest, and we will try and get you on there. We'd like to thank Pirate Dog Dice for giving us dice that strangely roll high. We aren't really sure why, uh, <laughs> but the players seem to like that bullshit. Uh, me, not so much. Uh, as well as OddFishGames.com. OddFishGames.com. Uh, they ran their How to RPG with Your Cat last week at Gen Con. Uh, they're also partnered with Adventure Sense. So if you want your game to stink, <laughs> <laughs> go get yourself some adventures. Five bucks. Five bucks for this. Thing lasts like six months. It's gorgeous. Uh, anyway, before we get into the nuts and bolts, the nitty gritty, the small haiku details, let's meet the cast. First off, David. David, who are you and who are you playing? Hi, I am David. I am one of the regulars on Cacophony. Uh, and part of the murder hobos, I guess, de facto. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. anyway, tonight I will he was. be... He was. I was, no longer. <laughs> Crucify the English language. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll be playing Zadar tonight. Uh, he is an arcane trickster, changeling, non-binary. His gender is pretty fluid. So... Uh, Frank, ask me what form am I going to be taking tonight? Uh, hey, Zidar, what form are you going to be in tonight? Well, going with the 80s icon theme, tonight it's going to be Billy Idol. Ah, oh, so. very nice. That's awesome. I am, going, I am going, to, I'm going to change the name of one of my NPCs. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> next up, Carol. Carol, who are you? Who are you playing? Hi everyone. As he said, I'm Carol. I'm a commission mini painter, longtime gamer, <clears throat> sometime GM. Uh, and tonight I'm reprising my role as Rosa the Raven, pirate for hire. We'll see how that one goes. Uh, <laughs> last but certainly not least, normally our producer, she is producing and playing tonight. Carrie, who are you and who are you playing? I'm Carrie. I'm married to the DM. He drug me into this shit. Um, I am playing Camilla, a fourth level necromancer who I forgot about that. likes coffee, brie cheese, and doesn't like kids. Good news, folks. <laughs> Somebody's meeting kids tonight. <laughs> this scenario just sucks. I'll just I'll I'll tell you outright. I sloshed this together last week and uh, you know what? Keeping with the 80s theme. You'll, you'll pick up on it awful quick. Uh, <laughs> you three are relaxing in the Adventures Bungalow, where you and your closest three other friends tend to reside when you aren't fucking around in the city of Cacophony. Uh, a beating on the door begins to rattle the windows, and screaming kids, you're welcome, Camilla, are outside uh, begging to be uh, gaining entrance to your abode. After continuous knocking, even Camilla is ready to just let these damn kids in uh, so they'll stop beating on your door. And they report that, help, help, a friend of ours has fallen into ground. And we share why? They need but help. I still think we're being punked. No. Is there a guy <laughs> around somewhere that can help you? It's just right over there. You got any money? I, no, no. All we have is cheese. <laughs> what kind of cheese do you have? Uh, brie. <laughs> I cry bullshit. <laughs> this young DMs, 
just get them the fucking hook and get them into the game. That's all you got to do. Well, then they then they can run willy nilly all over the place. That will get her. How are you gonna get the two of us? She's gonna need help. <laughs> so, do we care? Nope, you do not. <laughs> no. I guess the sooner these we get this settled, the sooner I can go back to my coffee. Correct. They're probably we're not gonna stop knocking until you come back. Can you hear me now? Can you hey, hear me now? Can you mom, hear me now? Mom, mom, mom mama, mom. mama. Penny, oh Penny, Penny. Oh yeah. <laughs> Heroes, heroes, heroes. 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 <laughs> uh, they begin to tug at the arm of one, Zadar, uh, uh, aka Billy Idol. Uh, your dazzling white hair, the long <laughs> mane that you have entrances them, and they begin to tug at you uh, to come assist them in the alleyway. Okay, kids, so I go. <laughs> Uh, Rosa and um, Camille, do you follow? Yep. Fine. I take my travel cup, cup and I go gonna, with. I'm not going to let these two go off without the flying, well, the flying J mug. <laughs> the flying J mug. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm not going to let these two go without me, but considering what was the last time that Rosa appeared, uh, no, that's not true. We need to come up with a cacophony equivalent of a flying J for uh, Camilla's coffee and Thank to stop you. and get healing potions on the way out. It, you know, maybe you guys <laughs> explore the city. Maybe you say, Frank, stop giving us fucking adventures and just let us just, uh, just, yeah. yeah, just nothing's going on. We just want a window shop for a while. But tonight, <laughs> tonight, the kids take you into an alley where there is a sinkhole. Uh, the cobblestones have fallen in and you hear... Uh, the sound of little Timmy in the well uh, and his faithful dog nowhere to be found probably went for some real help. Uh, <laughs> and your friend, uh, no, I'm not going to, yeah, I'm going to do it. Uh, one of the kids announces that they are Billy Eilish. What? And uh, at says, least I like the, the song. Yeah. And, and says, you got to help Barbaro. He fell down through this hole, just opened up, swallowed him whole. Can we see him? I don't know. Do you want to look into the hole? Yeah. Who has dark vision? Uh, probably not. Not me. You're a halfling, aren't you, Camille? Yeah, I, I have it. I don't think halflings have dark vision. I'm not sure. Maybe ghostwise do? I don't know. She, now, I think she's got the spell. I mm. have... Yes, it's a spell. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, yes, you cast dark vision, and you look down in there, and about 30 feet down, uh, you see little Barbaro fucked up on a slab of stone oh that is awful kid <laughs> well we found him he's down there <laughs> <laughs> good luck kids <laughs> so is everything broken on him i don't know apparently a lot <laughs> you're, you're too far away but he fell 30 feet how much rope do we have you guys actually they come in 50 so we should have at least 50. We, we have enough to get down there <laughs> oh, i'm just what? throwing it down he, he's gonna have to climb on his own ass back up just throw both <laughs> ends of the rope down Whoop. there you go <laughs> back Good to luck. my flying j coffee <laughs> okay let's wander cacophony <laughs> <laughs> while we're out hey <laughs> anybody want to climb down to try and see if this kid's alive <laughs> Last 30 seconds, I'd like to climb down, and if one of these two would cast light on something, that would be useful. If one of us had light. I don't have that. What? Yeah. Nobody has Nobody? light. Eight? You what need a you cleric for that thinking, shit. Yeah, you think I'm an Asmar or something? No. <laughs> Most of my mages have light. My uh, Rosa off. Not these mages. <laughs> I climb down into the darkness. I will do it anyways. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Camille, give me strength rolls, please. I was about to say, so that may be the badass. <laughs> oh, I got 20. Big. Uh, initiative rope? Wait, what? <laughs> strength rope. Strength. Strength. Oh, okay. How am I holding the rope? Please don't drop me. <laughs> I got 20, so. She'll what? hold you up. <laughs> okay. uh, I think between the two of us, I rolled a nine. So. Oh, you're fine then. Yeah, I was just looking for ones. Uh, Rosa, you uh, shimmy on down the rope as your two associates hold it, and the kids 
are constantly bashing into you two. Are is he okay? Is he gonna live? Oh, oh, oh. we're gonna be in so much trouble. I'm gonna whack you with my stick. Rosa, you land on the stone slab and give me a medicine check to see if you know what's wrong with this kid. Oh Lord, you medicine? What do you yeah. want me to? You're you're checking for wounds. This is um, gonna go. Well, I'm check sleight of hand. Maybe that'll help. <laughs> no. Start robbing him. <laughs> Do and we'll let people who actually know what they're doing medicine wise actually the body. Uh, Well, that would be an eleven. So it's not terrible, but I've got only I've got a minus one to my medicine. It's alive, <laughs> but pretty okay. beat up. Uh wow. you can try and fashion a lasso slash noose and let them David Carradine his ass up to the surface. <laughs> You mean under his arms, not around his neck. Rescue carry, you know. Sure, that'll work. Yeah. Is that what you want to do? <laughs> That's what I'll do. Uh, David, uh, or I'm sorry. Um, Billy. Zadar, <laughs> Billy, <Zidar. laughs> and Camille, go ahead and roll another strength check. This one advantage because the kid's small. Okay. So if you roll two ones, the kid deserves to die and smash Rosa in the face. Well, so <laughs> 19. Need- so uh, nine. Oh, very good. You guys uh, hoist the kid up rather quickly. He is in bad shape. Uh, Zadar, Camille, give me medicine checks. Mm, Seventeen or no, twenty. Uh, thirteen. Uh, Camille, you notice that uh, he has uh, multiple bruises. Can ta- or. Uh, contusions, lacerations. He's going to need ringer's lactate stat. Uh, <laughs> you may send the kids off to go get assistance of a traveling cleric, uh, mm-hmm. and then you guys can return to the adventurer's bungalow and leave Rosa behind in the pit. <laughs> See you, Rosa. <laughs> are, are, there, are, there, are there things that can be used as handholds? Because I can probably climb out myself. I've got athletic... You got your daggers. There's, there's, the, there's the hole... And then you are in a cave. Give me a perception check. Oh, I don't know if I want to do this because I think the plot's down here. And that's not great. Perception. Oh, that's 11. It's not great. Uh, you find the skeletal remains of somebody uh, on this plateau about seven feet away. That's um, <clears throat> that's comforting. Uh, do they? Ha- are there any remnants of like belt pouches or anything down there. Do they have anything on them? There's a backpack. All right, I'll snag the backpack and I'll look through it and maybe there'll be a way I can light things because <laughs> I doubt uh, I really out here with much. There <laughs> are four torches, okay. two flasks of oil, flint and steel. Oh, nice. Two broken potion bottles, ah. candles, and some rope. There's also uh, a medieval fantasy ID. ID? Oh, I can't. All right, well, I'll take one of the torches and I'll light it up and I'll see if I can read the ID. Uh, the dead body is Chester Copperpot. <gasps> no! Did he fall into a booty trap? <laughs> booty trap that's what i said uh rosa you also notice netting uh moving down into a lower cave not too far away from where uh barbaro fell down and cracked his head up top uh Zadar and Camille. Uh, help has arrived in the form of angry mothers. Uh, they are chastising the children and whacking them repeatedly. Oh, thank God. Uh, they give you a gracious thank you as they start yanking ears and taking uh, the soon to be crippled boy away. Uh, meanwhile, your associate is still down in the pit and Lassie is still nowhere to be seen. So there was an actual Lassie? Not that you know. Of. You haven't seen the dog. Oh, okay. yeah. It's probably down below dead Hello. with Chester Copperpot. <laughs> Hello. So, right. Yeah, I call That's... down to her and I make sure she's okay. I'm you know, fine. you should throw a rock down there to see if she's okay. <laughs> 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 
you could be Kevin McAllister and just drop the paint kid <laughs> directly into Rosa. Or we got the rope just to swing it down. That's right. <laughs> uh, as you guys look back down into the hole, you notice there is a globe of illumination, and you can see your associate holding a torch above her head. Uh, odd, you see Chester Copperpot's bones. Even you see the netting and the way down. Even at 20, you see her examining a hole in the, in the rock floor there, and there appears to be some kind of old netting there. Oh, wow. What do you mean by that? Like a net? Like you would capture somebody in netting? Or, or like, like sailor netting. rigging. Sailor rigging. Yeah. Like fisherman netting. Yeah. Well, no. More like getting up to the crow's nest kind of netting. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep, yep, yep. Shit you can actually walk on. You're a, uh, you're a pirate, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know that shit. Come on, man. You're a shitty pirate if you don't know that that's a quality <laughs> rope right there. Uh, no, but I did it. She's decided. a land pirate. <laughs> I'm sitting here at my home. I'm not in a friggin' hole looking at actual netting. She chases uh, land sharks. So, Zadar and Camille, what do you want to do? Your friend has certainly found something. Uh, you hey. have managed to tie the rope off. Uh, to, I don't know, a fire hydrant that the kids haven't opened up in cacophony. Uh, more likely a hitching those. post. Yeah. More likely a hitching post or a well. Okay. Have sure. you guys ever been test a cop? What's his name? Copper pot? Right. Mm -hmm. Never heard of her. Was it her? I'm kidding. It's you okay. haven't checked the pelvis in your yeah. <laughs> sucks. Count, count the and count the Chester ribs. Et. <laughs> Chester, right? Chester. Yeah, that would. I mean, okay. Here, I'm assuming here. You know, you're not supposed to assume, but I would assume with the yeah. Like, I was about to say. Be he. He so, was presenting. He. Zadar and Camille, do you want to go down? Sure. Give me twenties. Sure. All right. Fourteen. Good enough. Uh, let's see. Don't fail. <laughs> Did you <laughs> You're gonna land on me, asshole. Uh odd lands on Rosa. Yeah. My pirate dog dice. <laughs> even lands on Camille, but if it's even, I re-roll to see if either one of you hit Rosa anyway. So odd <laughs> Rosa, even Camille. Fifteen. Uh you zip past Camille, taking the express route down. Just as Rosa looks up, she gets squashed. Uh, Rosa, you're getting the D4. Uh, My acrobatics are kind of high, so. <laughs> uh, Zadar takes three, and um, Rosa takes two. Oh, okay. I was going to say, you watch. I'm going to take more damage than him. That would uh, suck. <laughs> Rosa, D12 against me to see if your torch is extinguished. Well, I've got three more. D12, you said? Sorry. Yeah, but uh, you'll have to light it in the dark. I already had to light it in the dark. Or do you think I lit the first one? That was only a one, so it goes out, I'm sure. It goes out. You guys are caked in darkness. Uh, Rosa, roll a D20. Make sure you didn't drop the flint and steel. Uh, that's an 11. Okay. I think... Two Unfortunately, ones. I think the Double silver... Ones. No, it yeah, it's two ones. I think the silver on that one kind of rubbed off. So it's a little hard to read. So, uh, nice job, Zidar. <laughs> uh, Rose or Camille, you land on solid footing uh, as the two bodies disentangle themselves from the night of passion that surely has caused more than sweat and anguish. Get a room. Uh, Right. <laughs> you, you shimmy down like you're in Cirque du Soleil. Yeah, that's right. Ooh. Uh, Rosa light, relights the torch, and uh, you notice that she is uh, plus one backpack with some shit. Uh, and you also notice the rigging, ships, old ship's rigging, uh, leading down through a hole in the stone orifice here uh, to a lower level in uh, what appears to be standard limestone caves check it out guys yeah, this could be cool. <laughs> we want to find out where this goes yeah, probably why safe not? why not <laughs> there ain't no flying j down here that's for sure 
No, but I have a carabiner safe. with my cup attached to my <laughs> tie on my robe. Nice, nice. It's like the canteen mug. That's it's right. got a lip. <laughs> it's got a lid on it. <laughs> it says East Face. Because <laughs> uh, cacophony's on the East Coast east side. <laughs> uh so uh you want to climb down the ropes you want to inspect the ropes you just want to say fuck the ropes and jump on in so, fuck the ropes just jump up no, I'm uh, i'll end, uh, yeah, being a part i'll inspect the ropes what do you want me to roll investigation because that's real good it's better than medicine do we uh, see what the the netting's fastened to i mean is it just like spikes into the, pittens, the ledge pittens into the stonework okay I get the sense with an 18 that this was built as a trap or was it uh, set up here so someone could, I don't know. It, it would appear down. that this was a way to get down. Uh, the rope's kind of old, but it looks like it'll hold. Okay. And it looks like it goes down mm -hmm. 20 feet at a steep winding angle. So mm -hmm. it was made, so would this, have, this would have had to have been made before the street was here? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. With our luck, it's going to be a sewer. Watch. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> then you can break out the sewer scent, that awesome sewer scent from Oddfish oh. Games. <laughs> Oddfishgames.com. Uh, so, who wants to go down the netting first? Uh, I'll, if you guys want, I'll lead. Sure. I'm not going to argue. <laughs> sure. Give me a dex check so that Zdar can fall on you. Mm hmm. Yeah. A dex check? Yep. Okay, check. Uh, that looks like double I. That's double just so that's a 16. Oh, uh, you scale it down like the weary uh, pirate that you are. Uh, you call back up, hey, I'm down here. It's about 20 feet. Now, did what? you have the torch? Um, I don't know, but that check could actually put it in my teeth and... Mm -hmm. Scale down, careful. <laughs> Feel the heat. <laughs> Camille and Zadar, you're in dark. <laughs> well, actually, you are not in darkness because Camille cast dark vision, and it is still good for another few minutes. Oh, mine it says eight hours. Uh, it's good for eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> it better be for a spell slot. As, yeah. as, as Kyle will tell you, I don't read that bullshit. That's the sheet you gave me. <laughs> So wait, I didn't read it. Uh, it's the torch. Wait, are you saying the torch is out right now? No, no. you've got the torch. But we're up 20 top. feet down and around. Well, then, oh, yeah, but they still should be able to at least see. There should be some glow. I mean, it goes out like 30 feet. Right. But you are down and to right. the left. Uh, now, you know, just a suggestion, maybe set the rope on fire and give them some illumination. No. Nice. Nice. Uh, Zidar or Camille, who wants to go down next? I'll go. DC. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Boom, Boom. baby! <laughs> Boom goes the dynamite. Uh, three hit points of damage as you plummet. Uh, oh. Rope breaks. This day started out shitty anyway. Hey, Zadar. Uh, there ain't no rope. <laughs> well, let me check the backpack. Is there rope in the backpack? You mean the one on Rose's uh, body? Oh, she picked up the backpack? Yeah, she's a fucking thief. Oh, yeah, that's true. throw some rope up to you. Well, I mean, uh, yeah, I used my rope on the way down, so... 25 minutes in and everybody's hurt. All right. Yep. Everybody's hurting. <laughs> All right, so, so this is a dilemma. <laughs> you may try and scale down in the dark all without. It, if it was netting, did all of it break? Uh, enough of the front part. Yeah. You're the one who the one. Well, I do have rope, so I mean, I could do a grappling hook. <laughs> 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 I think yes. I think so. <laughs> I like this idea. This idea has merit. This is a good idea. <laughs> Fuck you. I don't have one. So I'm going to just try to toss the rope back up to Zadar. Give me a strength okay. check. 
strength. You can use dexterity if you'd rather. I was going to say. You have to heave it up 20 feet. I was thinking athletics. That's more than I was thinking. I'll give you athletics. I don't care. Athletics. So that's 17. Uh, Zadar, make the catch. Make the catch. Make the catch. The rope snaps right into his groin and Zadar pitches forward. Uh, 21. Makes the catch. All right, so I'm going to tie it off to one of the, uh, how do you pronounce it? We say pitons, pitons but pitons. Sure, we can, we can do pitons. pitons. I pronounce it, I've heard of pitons. Okay, so I go ahead and tie off to one of those, <laughs> give me trying a, to find it. <laughs> give me a performance check, and you will not know how you did, but give me the performance check roll. <laughs> okay, 19. Yeah, you think it's pretty tight. I pull on it again to make sure. Yeah, you're still thinking it's pretty good. Okay. Let me see. Sure, you think it's great. I saw the movie Descent. So the Descent. Oh, so Lord. we see how that went. Do you want to take off your belt and you know zip line down through the curve? That'd be kind of cool. That would yeah, be cool. And to tie it off at the other end so that it was. Tight. Damn it! I was I was so, waiting for her, to, for her to just hold it. So so you did tie it off? No. Oh. <laughs> Fair I, enough. I, Zip line like, down and hit her no, in the face. No no no! I didn't do that. I did not do that. I just asked if it was tied off. <laughs> no, I you would you would be able to tell anyways. The rope's not yeah, tight. Yeah, it's slack. He so, shrugs his yeah. shoulders and says, "It's a good day for a white wedding." Yeah, eyes. It certainly is. Nice tie in. <laughs> I understand uh, Billy Idol's going to be playing with us next week. <laughs> nice. I'm just trying okay. to shame him into playing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is. Somebody, somebody at him and tell him he's being shamed on Murder Elbow Link. That'll get him here. You know, those celebrities, they can't say no to that. Yeah, because he's from Indiana. Yeah. <laughs> from New York. You're, you're thinking of John Cougar Mellencamp or John Mellencamp. That might be Zadar's Cougar. next form. <laughs> really? <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start descending. Dun, Dex check. He actually used to use that for an intro to his concerts. God, you're old. I am. <laughs> okay, what is it, Dex? Yep. Uh, Dex, all right, that is a 19. <laughs> hey, you scale down nicely like Peter Pan going down the rope. Caitlin's <laughs> at home wondering, who the fuck is Billy he, Idol? Probably. Did he say Billy Eilish? Yeah, oh, we're going to Billy Eilish. Oh, that's cool. That There's two Billy Eilishes here. Uh, okay, you guys are now all at the bottom. You are in a small cave. Uh, Rosa's uh, torch and Camille's dark vision shows a slender fissure in this cave leading out into a much broader cave. All right. I guess I'll go through. The cave interior will smell musty, but not be humid as most of the water must have dissipated over the years. The ledges are smooth with some depressions and the walls will be quite rough and have loose shale, making climbing down precipices risky at best. A heavy coating of dust upon the floors yeah, uh, there's a heavy coating of... <laughs> well, there's something I, I can't say. Uh, I need to adjust that. in the Oh, he's manager. trying to be cryptic. <laughs> uh, there's a heavy coating on the dust on the floor, so you know that nothing has been through here in a while. Okay. You also notice that there are no stalactite or stalagmite growth in these caves, uh, and the floors must have been worn smooth by centuries of water washing in and out because that's what limestone caves are. Who wants to go through the fissure first? How big well, is this it? I tend, I tend, I'm the tanky one, so me. Uh, a fissure runs from the floor to the ceiling and leads out into a larger cavern. You hear a whistling noise, Rosa. Do you continue forward? Uh, quietly. Uh, good luck. This is an irregular fissure. It's very tight. Are you wearing metal armor? No. Okay. I'm a rope. For sake. What am I wearing? I'm wearing leather. Okay. Fact, I'm 
I don't suppose I could have upgraded that you know, fourth level. I'm not sure what people have here for stuff, but I just uh, got this. You camera. could have, but again, you haven't found the Flying J. Flying J <laughs> coffee and armory shop. Ye, ye old Flying J. <laughs> uh, Discussing green room and totally forgot. So that's my fault. Do you want to lead with the torch or silhouette yourself with the torch? Mm, that's tough because, yeah, I want to be able to see, but I can see how that could, that they'll be able to see me too. I can hold um, up behind I'm, you if you want. I'm going to lead in front of the torch. One at a time. Oh, that's bullshit. Uh, tiny fissure. So you're going in and then the torch is behind you? Yep. You Fair said there's a whistling sound. What's does the sound? What sort of whistling sound? Like Old, old Whistler's mother? Say, is it I was going to say, like, or like the wind going through a cave. Pulp Fiction that... kind of whistle, or? It, it's more of like old Whistler going, just shut up, Carol, and go through the fissure. <laughs> That's well, my I'm... Whistler's mother's right. approach. Uh, it's just a common underground whistling noise. You guys you guys are urbanites. You don't know shit. You are out of your element at this point in time. You aren't supposed to be cave diving in a freaking city. That doesn't happen. That simply doesn't happen. But it does. He's... On Murder Hobo Inc. Uh, as you go through, uh, the dim light behind you kind of foreshadows, and you notice that the cave opens up into like a left right sequence, but there appears to be a stone guardian directly ahead of you. Wow. So, as Ben said, I want to go in stealthily. So, you said it'd be difficult, so I rolled it. Correct. Right? So, that would be a 14. Okay. Uh, as you walk in, you notice that the uh, maybe stone figure isn't moving. That's good. Hey guys, come on! I'm not gonna. I'm gonna stand by the thing and wait, wait for them to come through. Okay. As you step mm -hmm. out and turn to call them, you hear click. <laughs> and let's see. I don't have anything way to look for those without uh, saying constantly that I'm looking for those, right? Nope, it's coming out of the statue. Uh, does an 18 get you? Oh, uh, yeah. Does a 12 get yeah. you? No. Uh, you hear funk into your skin, and you hear katink off a rock, and you suffer ooh, four hit points of damage. Uh, fortunately, the toxin has worn off. That was fast. Okay. Just checking to make eh, sure that we're... Not really. <laughs> You'll understand the deeper you get into this. Oh, Lord. So, uh, you've been stabbed. Who's going through the fissure next? I'll go. Okay. You hear Rosa go, hey, come on, guys. Everything's... Ow! <laughs> <laughs> not quite, but okay. It's... But the, 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 the torch is still up, so I'm she's not short, dead. So... Hey oh. guys, it's like, hey guys, come on! It's it's a narrow, There's... irregular fissure. <laughs> <laughs> so well, they, coming... they shouldn't expect me to be as tall as her or whatever it is. So correct. I'll go. Oh next. well, as you go out, give me a perception check. Oh boy, is that trap? By the way, is that trap? Do I think that trap is done? Otherwise, I'll point out. I'll, I'll point out where my stepped. Give me an investigation. Um, Ugh, or on perception. You do not notice the stray dart. Let's see. Investigation. That would be a 14. But you okay. notice Rose is all bent over looking at the stone. Apparently she wants a hole in her butt for another dart. <laughs> uh, Rosa, another boob. That's right. Rosa, you come to the conclusion that uh, the trap's been sprung. Okay. That's what I was hoping. <laughs> Zadar, you're third through. Uh, give me a perception mm -hmm. check. Perception? <clears throat> Rosa yeah. actually looks like Will Ferrell and Get Hard because the dart is just stuck in her foot. <laughs> <laughs> nice. uh, I rolled a nine. You don't see the other one I either. Shit. <laughs> uh, so Rosa, you uh, pull the dart out of your arm. You have confirmed oh. that the trap, to the best of your knowledge, is now defunct. Uh, across from you, it is not stone. It is a wooden pirate statue. Uh, and its eyes are hollowed out. 
Uh, presumably that is where the two darts came from. You may examine the statue to confirm if you want. Sure. Let's see if there's anything else of interest uh, on there too. Everybody who wants to look, go ahead and give me an investigation roll. Uh, I'm looking at us at, at it from the side. I'm not going to stand in front of it. I get 19. Uh, let's see. Investigation. Yeah, I got 19 also. Rosa? Oh, I stuck. That's, I got a 12. Uh, uh, Rose is looking at the uh, groin of this statue because it's very prominent. Uh, however, <laughs> Zadar and Emil both notice that there's a for a lever. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> there's a. Does this move? Does this? Does this? Does this? Make it function. Uh, Zadar and Camille, you both notice uh, right at the feet, there appear to be two wires that come up from underneath cobblestone and go up into the statue. Oh, That looks like the trigger device. Okay. Is that all they see? Don't That's mess with that. <laughs> all you see. Well, that and Rosa trying to jerk it off. No. But your audience is only folks. Oh, folks. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, but I want splinters, so no, I wouldn't do that. Right? Because then you talk like this, you talk like Scott's character. <laughs> which is how which is how he really got this speech impediment. Don't let him tell you that bullshit that it's a hair lip. He got splinters. That's how it is, Scott. If you're watching, that's how, that's how it happened. Eric Hall happened. <laughs> What happens when you disappear? You know, we start making up shit for your character. <laughs> That's right. Uh, the whistling oh. continues. You cannot tell if it's coming from the left or the right, though. Can we uh. see anything? You see jack and shit. It looks like you're in a stone maze, a.k.a. Uh, limestone caverns. A labyrinth? Yeah, ish. It's the, the map the is app. beautiful. I love the <laughs> map. But, uh, so, yes, yeah, so you can go left or right. Um, we can't tell which way the lab. Do you have a preference, either one of you? Because I have, don't have a preference. What's the, the rule of thumb in D&D? <laughs> Always go. Let the party uh, steal <laughs> everything you can. Uh, piss off the DM. Well, let the That's sexy a guy decide which way we go. I think you should. Oh, not me. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Billy, I was like, oh, yeah, this way. <laughs> it goes right. You gotta do this. All right, fine. I'm gonna go right. I just, Again, just, Billy Idol, if you don't have the guts to come on the show, I, I can't help you. <laughs> oh, man. Similar to what Rosa was looking like just a few minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing the. Uh, oh, what song was that? Which one? When he's punching at the screen? Yes. Oh, Rebel Yell. Yeah. There I go. love that. So, there you go. <laughs> Billy Idol, right. we'd love to have you on the show. Billy Eilish? Oh, yeah, sure. You can come. Hey, yeah. I love yeah. that. Hey, I love the song, Bad Guy. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> we don't have musicians on this show. Just listen to Rose's singing. So, <laughs> yeah. like anyway, guy, do you want to go, go left right. or right? You right. go right. Uh, who's leading? Me. It's very hmm. narrow narrow tunnels here okay. uh you come upon a dead body is it fresh uh, nope been here a long time mm. this is yep. probably chester pewter pot pewter pot <laughs> cousin uh no this guy's dressed like a buccaneer it's busy he, pewter pewter stuff? <laughs> he does I, have I, stuff i kind of grimace though but yeah we'll look through the stuff i'm interested in stuff He's got two daggers. One's a little bit rusty. One, not so much. Nice. Mm. He's also missing his right boot. So I've got some sort of. A, I'd like That's that. That's not bag. good. <laughs> right boot or lower right leg is missing. Right boot and foot. Okay. Oh. That's not good. I read some. Yeah. That's and all he has. That's it. He's got a bandolier that would have held five or six daggers. One of them's rusty and one of them ain't. Okay. I'll take the one that isn't because I have a funny feeling that might be something decent. 
Archie, no shit. I'll take. <laughs> I'll take the rusty I, one. Okay. I, can, I say I can certainly use this. You can use the rusty one to plant it on somebody, you know, because he came at you with a rusty. Oh, I think yeah, that's it. Uh, you, you go through the tunnels, uh, maybe 50, 60 yards, and you come on a come on to a musty old bedroll, or come to a musty old bedroll. Boy, the jokes are just okay. Yeah, I, I, I fumbled that. I must be Joe Biden. Cat, horse, TV, stereo, potato. Is what? it rolled up or is it extended? It's extended. It's extended. Okay. Is there anything in the bedroll? Other than must, a boot. <laughs> a boot. <laughs> <Is> there, a <laughs> <foot>? <laughs> there is a foot in there, and there's also a gemstone in there. Ooh. Wow. What kind? Uh, topaz. Twenty-five gold pieces. Wow. Nice. It's nice. actually wedged between the phalange. You can learn stuff on this show. Uh, oh. The big toe and the second toe. That's weird. He was trying to pick it up with his toe. <laughs> it, 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 you can tell that the phalanges are uh, worn around it. So this guy must have been hobbling on that topaz for quite some time. Oh. Rosa will tell you that uh, oftentimes pirates hide their shit in their boot. I was about to say, hunter way. among thieves. Huh? <laughs> yeah, they probably, yeah, he probably was hiding it in there. I don't know. That looks so uncomfortable. And I, Everybody I in sight. <laughs> At least we didn't find it by his pelvis. <laughs> Insight. You know, his prison wallet. Exactly. <laughs> he keistered it. 13. What are we rolling? Investigation? Insight. Insight. Okay. Rosa? Uh, 11. 14. 14 the high one. Uh, the whistling seems to have stopped. That's okay. it. And you also notice kind of the faint glint of metal around the corner. Does okay, I point that out to everybody. <laughs> All right. What about the uh, topaz? Is somebody picking it up? Uh, I use Mage Hand. I cast Mage Hand to pick it up. <laughs> okay. Mm. That's what I assume one of you two did because you guys would have found it before me. So. Your mage um, hand picks up that. <laughs> See, these would be phalanges on the <laughs> Exactly. Or, no, they're metatarsals. Tarsals is what they Phalanges are. are fingers. Metatarsals. Yeah. See, yeah. Even when we're wrong, we'll fix that shit. Yeah. <laughs> I remember my dad always telling me, get your phalanges off, you know, off of whatever. So I'm Your dad that. drank. <laughs> <laughs> As you round the corner, a formidable iron gate has been set into the wall at this location. The craftsmen appear to have placed the hinges on the inside lip of the cave so that you can't knock out the pins. Uh, a rusted padlock is threaded through the wall, making continued passage nearly impossible. Imposterous. How Until rogues come along. Wide apart are the <laughs> bars. Well, I'm a half yeah. one. Can I fit through? No. Can we make investigation check? Sure. You can investigate. I have very good investigation, though. Uh, and I don't know. Well, that's a 13. You don't know shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so, but we see clearly that the, the padlock is what's keeping anything from movement. Mm hmm. Uh, so it's a gate. Pretty much. It's yeah. a gate leading somewhere. Okay. Uh, you can try and bash it open if you want. <clears throat> well, Yeah, because that always goes well. <laughs> I do have thieves tool, so I can pick the lock or try to. Okay. A thieves tool. What the heck is thieves tools? It's a proficiency check plus your dex. It's dex, yeah. So that's four plus, what's my proficiency? Two, so it's plus six. The two or three at fourth level? It's, 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 oh, God, that is a five and a die, so that's an 11. Yeah, it's plus two. For you a, snap off the tip of your thieves' tool. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Is that, um, 
fine. Do, let's see. Am I the? Oh, I might be the strongest person there. Man, I could try to bash it open or jimmy it open. Sure. Um, I'll take one of my uh, daggers I bring in here, huh? rather than fifty new one. Although that one might be stronger, and I'll make what strength check. You can attack it. AC ten. AC ten. Mm-hmm. Okay, so. Wow, really? You friggin' so much for the friggin' good dice. So now all the dice rolls are shite. So that's a nine because I only rolled a three. So you wow. hit the, you hit the actual opening rather than the lock there, Ray Charles. Try it again. It's dark in here. <laughs> that's okay. That's above. All right, so that's above a ten. That's an eleven plus six is seventeen. Very good. Okay, uh, you hit it and you realize. Hmm. This used to have a point. <laughs> How much damage do you do? Oh, um, let me see. Uh, eight, max. You do eight damage, but now that is a, not quite cursed, minus one dagger. I don't really care because I have this nifty new one to replace it. The lock is not broken. So, you ever get the thing which is not meant to go through this? <laughs> I mean, you did damage to it, but mm-hmm. it's not broken. Unlike the pen that I just broke. Oh, congrats. It's a <laughs> pen. Nobody uses shit. So yeah. you, can, you can hit it again if you want. Mm, I don't want to break any of my other daggers. I, I was fine with sacrificing one. Um, Camille, Zadar? Any of you got like a... Well, I mean, she kind of messed up the lock for any another attempt at lock picking. So. Correct. So, how about all right. does Ray of Frost do anything uh, to metal? You can try. All right, I'll try that. Okay. How much damage? Uh, let's see. Is there any? There. I assume there are rocks in this cage, right? Cave. Uh, six. Everything's oh, smooth. Smooth. Six wow. damage. Uh, well, the lock is frosted over. It might be uh, submissive to uh, bludgeoning damage <laughs> now. Submissive. Take the. A bludgeoning weapons. Does the body, other than that, have anything on it? How about a femur? Nope. Is the you skull removable? <laughs> you, you could use a femur or a, femur? a skull. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one of each. Do, which do you <laughs> want to use first? Uh, I'll try the femur first. D12 against me. Okay. Six. Shit. Three. <laughs> okay. Uh, do 1D4 improvised weapon damage. Okay. Uh, let's see. Three. To yourself <laughs> as you shatter the skull and it cuts you in the hand doing... Uh, Three damage. additional damage to the frosty lock. Well, uh, I said I said femur first. <laughs> so, the, so the femur's broken first. So okay. Oh, okay. So, all right. Anybody want to take a try at this? <laughs> try with your staff, but I mean, yeah, Camille's got the quarter staff. <laughs> all right, I'll give that a shot. Huh? Uh, you might be able to lever okay. it in there, there to pop it off. Well, see, that's the thing. It's like, maybe you shouldn't be attacking it. I was thinking of putting the dagger in it and going, poof, like this, and try to pop it. It's a padlock, right? Mm-hmm. Well, I can try yeah. to use my so, rusty again, dagger it, to do that. Sure. All right. So what do I roll for that? Hit it. Hit it. No. Yeah. Uh, All you need is a 10. 10. How much damage? Uh... uh uh, it's a, D- a dagger is a D four. four. Yeah. D four plus your strength. Minus one. Minus. <laughs> your strength is a nine minus one. So what's your die roll? Four. Okay, three. Uh, your da- your rusty dagger breaks, as does the padlock. Woo. Oh, cool. Well, at least right. we didn't Open. use a good dagger. <laughs> no, I wasn't going to use the good dagger. I didn't want that to break. Who wants to push open the gate? Um, uh, 
Hey, I grab I... Ca- I grab Camille's quarter staff, <laughs> put, <laughs> hold it by the end, and just kind of push it open. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to make investigate. See, the, I, I'd see if there's any traps on this. Not that my investigation's great. Well, go ahead. Like... If you're watching this, Matt Mercer, yeah, this is the chair all over again. <laughs> so. Oh God! It, it, well, no, they had trouble with doors too in the first campaign. That's only what was that? Oh, yeah, investigation. That's only a seven. You guys suck ass. Uh, <laughs> there's something that Mercer doesn't say enough. You guys suck ass. Uh, so she doesn't think there's any traps. You grab the staff out of Camille's hand for some reason and use it to push open the rusty gate, which screeches open loudly. Everybody, perception. <laughs> My ears are ringing. Nine. Oh my god, this is just terrible. Uh, perception oh at 11. God, mine's the high one? <laughs> In Six, initiative. 16. 16. Uh, you hear feet. Oh, oh lord. Initiative. Well, that was a little better. My 17. Really- oh, oh, plus four, so 21. Rosa? Uh, 20. Uh, Zadar, a giant spider comes around the corner. Look at Reveal, baby. Yuck. Oh, all right. I, like, ah! Hand crossbow. Okay. All right. Oh. Uh, Does 16 hit? 16 hits. Rosa, you see a second one coming. Oh, shit. All right. Uh, Nine points of damage. Still alive. Rosa, you're up with 20. Okay, so he's behind me. I'm putting myself between them and the spiders, being the good tank I am. A little late uh, for that. <laughs> well, they, they haven't gone yet. So. Rosa's doing a Jack Burton, you know, trying to get the <laughs> dagger out and finally gets it out after everything's happened, you know. So no, wait, is the, sp- are the spiders on the other side of the door or at the pork? Whatever. The gate or on our side of the gate. Other side. Oh, well, that's fine. I step through and, and I'm going to make sure I'm blocking the door, basically. Okay. Uh, plus, it also helps I don't have anybody right there, so I can use my ability. Or we can step back through, close the gate, and try to fight them through the gate. Because <laughs> yeah, that always yeah. goes well, you know. Yeah, it's not, that's not a terrible idea. Make but up I your will- minds. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm no. I've already done my action. That's what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to hit. Well, with I use two weapons. What am I doing? Okay, so. Uh, that is, eighteen plus six is twenty-four. All you need is a thirteen to hit these things. Okay, and well, the other ones are missed because that would be a twelve. Okay. But the first one hit was, which is what matters. What is my sneak attack? Two d six. Plus, rapier is a D8. Let's see. We use one of those. Uh, well, hey, the one with the, sh- the backstabby people rolled a five. So that is two plus five is seven plus one is eight. Plus four is 12 points of damage. But no cigar. Uh, Camille, you're up, but you're blocked. She can't cast spells into it? You're the tank block in the entryway. You can try and cast a spell. Well, that doesn't it's, seem like a good idea. The bars, right? She can see through the bars. You're standing in the doorway. Right. <laughs> oh, oh I'm thought, I thought she was a range caster. I'm sorry. She is, but you're standing in the door. You're standing in the way. Skip shoot some magic missiles off. Then I'm not in the way. You can, she can see it. How about... Shoot Rosa in the back. How about I do Misty Step? Sure. Over to the other side? Yep. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Poof! Uh, unbeknownst Wait. to them, uh, the two spiders will go after Rosa. And... That's- one and two. Uh, 19 and a 17 on the die. Add 320 and 22. 
is three, and yeah, and yeah. Those are way Five too and two add two. Seven plus two is nine. Snap, snap. The biting begins as these Ow. things are hungry. Uh, top of the order is it are. Okay. Uh, Rosa's <laughs> got one attached to each thigh. Using Rosa for cover. <laughs> Uh, run rule number one one exactly uh no uh i've used the bonus action to to reload are we doing it like that or we're just assuming i've reloaded the hand i assume crossbow? you've reloaded it's a hand crossbow okay all right uh i'm gonna fire a hand crossbow since i'm using rosa for cover sneak attack all right yeah that that would be true it is melee with me and i think that's how natural 20 Okay. So 27. Uh, are, you, are you going after the original one you fought or the one that she fought? Uh, the original one that I fought because... Okay. Damage? Okay. Uh, let's see. Initially, it is 14, and then with the pain dead. chain coming... It'll oh. be dead. Oh, never mind. Rosa, you are up. <clears throat> All right, two attacks against the living one that's attached to my thigh, my other thigh. Uh, and you said it only needs 13s. Those are both over 13. That was a 13 dead, because it had one hit point left. Uh, <laughs> over to Camille. Camille, this smallish cave has a bookshelf that has seen better days in it. Uh, there are a variety of knickknacks that uh, appear to be stolen goods. Most of the items. Uh, give me an investigation check. Since you misty stepped right next to it. <laughs> Three. Uh, you cannot tell if there's anything good there. Combat is now over. Uh, Rosa, you and Zadar can walk in. You'll notice that Camille is pondering the contents of the bookshelf. You two give me investigation check. Okay. Uh Someone likes to roll tens for some reason tonight. That's a once investigation, so that's a twelve. Eighteen. Uh Zadar, you notice there are a lot of items on here. Uh mm -hmm. some might be valuable, some might not. For the first item, everybody roll a D twelve. We'll see who gets to that. Eleven. Ten. Nine. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> it's so, a flush. So, uh, Camille, the first item you grab is a jewelry box that, do you want to open it? Yes. <laughs> a catchy tune begins to play and a small ballerina begins to turn around. Oh, I had one of those. This item is worth 40 gold pieces give or take. Zadar, you got the second item. You find an unusual item. It looks like a stuffed baby doll. Would you like to pick it up? No, I would not. <laughs> uh, baby dolls creep me out, so no. <laughs> oh, no man, you, put, you love to use this in your dungeons, don't you? You what, have a bag you could put it in. A doll? It's I, have, a doll. I do have a, a mage hand, so I mean, I could yeah, pick it up with mage go. hand. And we you got a could. bag. You certainly right. could. He's hoping, huh? I don't care. You can pick it up. Come on, pick it up, man. What's All right, word? using mage hand. I cast mage hand. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> so you take possession of the doll. Oh. No, I do not take possession it's of it. I don't. I pick it up, but I don't decide to keep it. You pick it up. That's possession. It cries out. Stein tents the law. <laughs> Mama. Oh no. <laughs> like, like, do the eyes move? You know, but stay. Do, does it do anything else? Okay. It may really just be a doll. We may be taking. This ourselves. is creepy, though. <laughs> Frank, it probably is. I've seen Annabelle. <laughs> so. uh, the third item is a small wooden carved box worth five gold pieces, Rosa. Would you like to open it? Sure. It is a collection of rough pearls. Uh, <laughs> you could probably snag uh, 50 gold pieces. I trade you a baby doll for it. <laughs> no. 
Nope, nope, I want these. So what are you doing with the mage hand? Uh, I'm like, uh, Rosa, give me the, the guy's backpack. <laughs> I'm going to put it in the backpack. Oh, you're going to throw it in there? Sure. As you here. put it in there, ah, ma. Oh, no. Okay. This that's, isn't good. That's <laughs> two. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, that appears to be all. It looks like there were some magic potions. Uh, they have all since dissipated. Any that good sucks. books? <laughs> no books. Any books, scrolls? The rest of the small items, uh, you know, copper, hairbrush, shit like that, uh, the collective would take uh, maybe 18 gold pieces if you take it all. Yeah, take it all. Throw everybody, it everybody give me a D20. I'll take top roll. Add nothing. Just straight up D20. The 10? 9. 17. Uh, as you ponder the music box, uh, you notice that one of the shelving pieces is kind of a jar. You look behind it, and you see a small chest. Uh, it's got some rope on the side, so you can pull it out of the, the uh, secret cachet. Hey, guys, there's a small chest here. We... Hey, you guys! Oh, nice. I've been waiting all night. <laughs> Should we pull oh, it out? Oh, man. So many Goonie references. Jeez. I come over there and I go, I'll pull, I'll, I'll pull. Goonies pull never say die. That's right. DM says die. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> uh, hey, you pull it's out... in a bag. It can't talk. It's in a bag. It's in the bag. You uh, you pull the chest out, and it sounds like it's got coins in it. Do you want to open mm -hmm. it? Uh, let's investigate that sucker for. Hey, you want to help me investigate that sucker for traps? Uh, I assume you sure. Actually, you probably have a pretty good investigation. I do actually. Twenty-one. But uh, you go. Yeah, you go ahead and you investigate it. Old so. wooden chest. Is no, there a lock on it? Nope. Okay. okay. It's just got the latch. Open it up. Uh, about 312 coins, all of older mint, some of them not from the cacophony area. Okay. So you got some triangles, you got some circles with a hole in it, you got some oblong squares, uh, but 312 so, gold. Nice. So we divide up, so we each get 100 each and whatever. I don't care. Um, just so that we're not carrying too much weight around. Okay. We divide divided evenly. I put oh, it I'm in. big and strong. I put it in my <laughs> bag, not the bag with the baby doll. <laughs> yes. Uh, that appears to be all for this cave. All right, so we need to now, so there's so nothing but a dead end. So I guess we need to go back oh, the other way. To the other way. As yes. you pass by the wooden pirate statue with the dart eyeballs. Ah. Whistling started. Whistle starts again. Uh, you move through <clears throat> 50, 60 yards. You come across uh, an empty bedroll. Another one. Out or is this roll? a different one or the it same is one? It is unfurled. Different oh. one. Okay. Anything in it? Nothing. No boot, no foot. We didn't find a body either before it, so. Nope. Um, keep going. Is there anything else strewn around it? Bedding? Anything like that? Blanket? Nope. Just straight up bedding. Uh, another, yeah, condom with a wooden peg in it. Uh, <laughs> he had a phallus. Uh, 34 more, 30 or 40 more yards, you come across another unfurled bedroll. Okay. Uh, take a look at that. Old, so musty... Not hiding any spiders or weird stuff or baby dolls or. Nope, nope. but I will take investigation check by everybody. <laughs> Looks like somebody had a sleepover. Oh my god, it's another 10, so it's another 12. Investigation? Uh, 21. So weird. No, uh, I'm 10. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, Zadar spots uh, more. What do we call them? Paytons? Peyton Mannings? <laughs> Petons, but Petons. sure. Petons, sure, we'll go with Petons. Petons. Uh, Petons. It, it looks the like there's French. another uh, rigging thingy going down deeper into the cave. 
Okay. This thing gets a lot louder down there. Mm. <laughs> All right. I guess I should try to lead the way, huh? Hey. <laughs> Give me your dex check. Okay. Sadar so never holds a woman back. Go ahead. <laughs> 24. And I still have the, I have the torch in my teeth. You get all the way down to the bottom, another 10, 15, maybe even 20 feet down. Come on down. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> give me a perception check when you get to the bottom, Rosa. I do not call out when I get there. I, I hey, do. everybody! <laughs> Rocky Road. If you can hear us, go for help, Mikey. 16. Sean, Sean Aston, if you want to play. Hey. Yeah, you're welcome. Come on. But you got to say Rudy. We're, we're going to call Rudy the whole time. No, I yeah, agree. Rudy. <laughs> uh, 16, you notice that you appear to be in some kind of bedroom. Mm, me right Bedroom? Or, like, I don't know. Did, did, did like a something crash down here? And it's, or is it actually really just kept it's me a, out of It's a stone cave, but it looks like somebody's bedroom. Does it look like it's been slept in recently? No, the U.S. Air Force left it pretty bleak in this missile silo. <laughs> you reach the bottom of the cliff and look around, finding items that appear to be consistent with a bed chamber. A large bed resides near a crevice leading deeper into the caverns, and a small pieces of brewing equipment are present. The skeletal remains of a pirate are also spotted on the floor. All these dead pirates. I don't know. This doesn't bode well. Uh, <laughs> hey guys, and I'll go back to and I'll go, guys, it's fine. Come on down. Who's next? I let Billy Idol go first. Yeah. <laughs> All, All right, I'm gonna go down. Him. Okay. Um, let's see. What it what is it? Dex? Dex check? Okay, that is a seventeen. He scampers down uh with a rebel yell. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, I got twenty. Uh Camille just slides down like a firefighter that's working. Hey. She's Straight working the down. pole, huh? <laughs> That's right. We're working the pole. Uh, you guys look around. You also see what appears to be a bedchamber in this cave. Uh, there is the large bed, several pieces of brewing equipment, and around the corner there seems to be a bookshelf of some kind. Are there any um, dressers? No dressers. Trunks? Nope. Just the bookshelf. Next. Uh, next to the bookshelf is a pair of small casks. Not quite pony kegs. Smaller casks. Anything at them? Uh, you look over at it and you see uh, scrawled in some kind of paint along it that has not warped away the term Grogan's Firewater. And you can ask Ernie about that on yeah. Saturday. <laughs> um, that, that is that is first first set of uh, scenarios I did right. back in 2013. So, uh, okay, so it's brewing the equipment camp. in their bedroom. Um, don't know, alchemist. Nope. Possibly. Mm -hmm. The bookshelf does contain a lot of small glass jars. Some of these uh, jars contain stuff. Stuff. What kind stuff. of stuff? A uh, quick inspection of it. The handwriting is poor at best, uh, but you notice what appear to be old flower petals, some pearl colored uh, dust. Mm -hmm. uh, various wings from bugs, all indicating that uh, some kind of alchemy experiment was going on. Mm. And there's no notes anywhere? Uh, there is no book here. Mm. However, there is a scroll tube. I was going to ask, is there a there's jade a scroll bone, tube? bone scroll tube here. Oh, okay. That, that's even better. <laughs> Who wants to look at the bone scroll tube, which is sealed in wax? Yeah. No. That's, mm. that's definitely something for casters. At least I hope. It's just like, uh, I hand it to Camille. You're the necromancer. 
So, <laughs> yeah, it's, she's right. It is sort of your thing. Open it up or hold off. Oh, Do you want to cast detect magic it on it? <laughs> I don't have that, so what the hell? There, are, yellow. Yellow. There, there are three scrolls in there. A quick inspection reveals that they are three spells that you can copy into your spell book at a later time. Booyah. There you go. There you go. Sorry, do you have detect magic? Mm-mm. You Everything, don't? Everything's magic. Not unless Every- Frank has fucked that up. Uh, I, I don't know if she's got it or not. Uh, everybody roll perception check. Uh, what did I say it was? So that's, yeah, a nine. 17. Uh, 20. Uh, Camille and Zadar, you hear chains rattling. Oh, that's always good. <laughs> Maybe it's just Billy Idol's chains. Yeah, I wear a lot of chains. Yeah. I mean... Could be, but you remain motionless and the chain <laughs> movement persists. Damn it. Also, it's everybody t- give me a arcana check, please. Do we um do we have an idea from what direction the the chains are coming from? Nope. Twenty six uh, for Arcana. Oddly enough, 24. I rolled a, I rolled a twenty. Non magical me rolled a twenty on a Yeah, arcana. I rolled a nat twenty. <laughs> Rosa is yours a nat 20? No, it's dirty 20. I got a plus two. DC 22 ah! t- tells uh, Zadar and Camille that Grogan's fire water, uh, this is a substance of dwarven creation and has the propensity for being highly flammable. <laughs> uh, it is exceptionally rare in this part of the world. Take it. Which is why the Arcana check was so high. How many kegs are there? Two. Two. You get one, I get one. Okay. We'll, we'll uh, fasten it to but, the backpack. <laughs> but it is alcohol, so it is potable. Okay. Uh, the, yeah. the chains are definitely not coming from up. They're coming from somewhere past the bed. Which leads in the same deeper room? into the cave. No, nope. yeah. there's a okay. small crevice that you can go through. It's always a crevice, <laughs> or a fissure, or... or a fissure, or whatever you want to call it, a crevasse, okay. uh, <laughs> an anus. I'll go into the crevasse. Nature's anus. You uh, go into the crevasse and you spot an old campfire with a dead body uh, around it. How old? Skeletal remains only. Where are the fresh bodies? Not here. All right, I go up and investigate. I say, wait, Camille, are you that level yet? Not yet. Damn it. Okay. Uh, Camille, you pull the skeletal remains over, and it is just peppered in old rusty daggers. Oh, wow. Okay. This individual has met a violent death. Uh, and most likely a very painful death. The ashes in the campfire, very old. A2 Brute. There's even a layer of dust over them. That's how old this thing is. So is there anything else of value around here? The corridor continues to weave and wind its way along. I assume we join her and then we keep going. I would Mm -hmm. assume so. Uh, as you walk further, you come to another bedroll, and there are a jumble interconnected pile of bones with two skulls. So clearly, uh, these... Orgy. Nope. Uh, <laughs> each one has she goes a, a dagger in, in different locations <laughs> on the other person, so it looks like these two were locked into mortal combat. It was a different kind of boning. (laughs) Different boning. So, anything else of interest? Scrolls? Booty? Whatever? Everybody perception check? Uh, Of course. We still hear the chains, although I I don't hear nothing. I swear it's not me. 21. That's not not high enough for to be (laughs) Uh, Camille's busy. Rosa's busy. 
Uh, Zadar, you hear a scraping noise followed by the links of chain being dragged. Uh. And coming out of the darkness I was about to say. is a skeleton dragging a great sword behind it. Everybody roll initiative. Oh, I always know that description. Oh, you hear I'm chains kidding. and a dragging sound. It's just like, you know what it is. <laughs> Twelve. This is not going to go well. Uh, that's a good initiative. That's 23. I don't have... Well, I've got that new dagger. I'm going to hope it's friggin' magical. Uh, 18. Everybody beats me again. Uh, Rosa, you are up first as you finally hear the scraping uh, and you see the skeleton lift its great sword. It is not here for parlay. What would you like to do? I'm probably going to run up to it, maybe hit it a couple times for not a hell of a lot of damage and die is probably what's going to happen. Okay. So ah, we gonna... won't let you die. I'm going to use... I'm going to use the dagger in the hopes that maybe it's magical. That's what I was hoping someone had to detect magic. It's a plus uh, one dagger. Okay, so it is magical. So it should actually help. I mean, I'm hoping... Still doing help. half damage because it's piercing. Uh, but don't worry this isn't your normal skeleton it's got a lot of hit points <laughs> I'm so gonna die yeah if it's not the enough to... uh, but I rolled a nat 20 with that with that dagger and I rolled a crap of course naturally the one I have sneak attack on that's probably a miss because that's only 11 13 is your magic number to hit the frenzied skeleton <laughs> Nat 20 will hit. It's a nat 20. I assume it's critical. So it's going to be 2d4 plus what double? Is it double everything or like four different systems? Damage, damage, modifier. Right. Oh, the modifier is only once. That's right. That is crappy roll. That's three and the modifier is four, so seven. In half. In half. Uh, 18, Zadar. Okay. Eight, so four, so four points of damage. All right, oh. hands, like the hands coming out of the TV and Poltergeist is going to come out and reach out and touch the skeleton. It's going to try. Uh, and a 25, I think that touches, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, it is going to take, if it's susceptible to necrotic damage, which it's not, it would have been eight, but it is disadvantaged now on all its uh, attacks Max. until my next turn. Eight. Fair enough. Camille, you're up. Uh, uh, so I guess Ray of Frost? Sure. That one will actually have an effect. Okay. Six. Fair enough. It will attack. At disadvantage. Two at disadvantage. Uh, a seven. Okay, and a four. That so, top of the order, Rosa. All right. Well, I'm going to take two strikes. Oh, for fuck's sakes. <laughs> yeah, dice. For some, suddenly, the pirate dog dice ain't rolling so hot. Because that's <laughs> that's you're not 12. playing the right character with him. Yeah, no, no you're using the bar uh, dice. Yeah, no, <laughs> I actually use pirate dice. I have pirate dice. Uh, but the I'm sure that the 18 and the dagger blow does hit. So that sucks. God damn it, I hate D4s. They get stuck in my hand. God damn it. Five points of damage. So that's two. Three. Because I keep forgetting to add the plus one. Wah, wah. Zadar, you're up. Okay. Uh, using Rosa as cover. <laughs> right ahead. That's the point. I am going to attack with the scimitar. And that is... That's it. I'm going to add it in. Uh, 25 to hit. 
Uh, the damage, initial damage. Ooh, a whopping six, but the sneak attack is... Are you using piercing? Uh, slashing. Gotcha. Uh, the sneak attack damage is an additional three, so nine, da uh, nine total. Uh, Camille. Okay, so this is a learning moment for me. <coughs> so I was going to use Shocking Grasp. Okay. And it says if I have advantage if it has armor. Uh, it does have armor scraps. Okay, so what does that mean for me? Uh, roll 2d20 instead of just the one and take the higher one. <coughs> oh my god, adjusted. 12. Total? Uh, I got a 12 and an 11. Uh, you miss. Because <sighs> you need a 13 to hit this thing. Uh, it's turn. Uh, it It is not at disadvantage, I assume. Uh, until my turn, but yeah. yeah. Well, you've already gone this I've round. gone, so yeah, it's a new round, so yeah, it's not. Three, Rosa. One, uh, Zadar. Uh, Zadar, you'll be orange. Rosa, you'll be root beer. Who was the orange? Uh, shit. Um. <laughs> you, you got the nat 20. Oh, I'm going to die. Uh, 12 plus 6, 18 on Zadar. Uh, 18 hits. Okay. So. This is going to be really bad. How many hit points do you have? 12. Oh, you're fine. Oh, yeah, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> uh, three and a one uh, plus four. Uh, so eight damage to both of you. Well, I'm a little surprised there because the great sir. Yeah, you rolled shit. That's what happened. I did roll shit. About to say. Three and a one. Now I've got four hip points. Top of the order. None of us are healers, so you might want to. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna. I will. I'll stay here until I drop. That's the way I do it. Hey, there, there, there is no shame in running. Speaking of drop, everybody roll perception. Oh God, there's no better. Ah, Jesus Christ! I'm too paying too much attention to the target in front of me. <laughs> That's only like an eight. Sixteen. Five. Uh, Zadar, you notice just behind and to the left of this creature is another rigging. Uh, I uh, I point that out. I don't think skeletons are good at climbing. There's another rigging right behind it. <laughs> You're up, Zadar. All right. Uh, yeah, I am going to reach out and touch him again and put him at disadvantage. Okay. Uh, uh, la, la, la. 20, not natural. And uh, since it doesn't take necrotic damage, it's just a disadvantage. It does not. Uh, Rosa, you're up. Sadar has pointed out a uh, another set of rigging behind it. You can make a dash and try and get to it if you want, or you can stand and fight and die. So not me if I'm freaking run away. I don't know. I just have so much more fun fighting than running away. I've got. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna go stand on the thing and fuck it. Nope. I'm gonna stay here till I die. We didn't get to the flying J to get our healing potion, so. Nope. <laughs> Even the pirate dice is freaking gonna suck. But hey, you know that dagger's pretty damn good. It's the one I keep hitting with. I keep missing with the first attack, which. Take uh, three points of damage. That's halved. So I already have it. That's my minimum. Three points of damage. Meal, you are up. You have also heard of the rigging behind the skeleton. Uh, I have. <sighs> I don't know if I could. <sighs> so. Oh. Oopsie. So where are all? Where is everybody else? They're right in front of the skeleton, and the netting is right behind it. 
and to the left. And everybody knows where they are in relation to the netting. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you guys go, I'll come with. I cast Bog Cloud. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, that goes <laughs> well. <laughs> I'm not complaining. It gives it disadvantage, too, I think. Yeah, but uh, Sadar's the only person that knows just about where the rope, <laughs> where the no, netting is. They, everybody knows. It's just a matter of actually catching it now. Uh, fog descends on this place, but oh the frenzied skeleton is going to attack. What's the advantage? First one is one Zadar and four Rosa. Uh, orange is Rosa again. Uh, that's a four, so that'll miss you. Zadar is a nine plus six, 15. Uh, 15 misses. Uh, you guys hear the swooshing of the sword uh, mm -hmm. as the fog descends and the frenzied skeleton has missed you. Top of the order, Zadar. Uh, I am going to cast Silent Image and put an image of myself right in the skeleton's grill. You know there's fog everywhere, right? You can't see it. Well, make it glowy. <laughs> so. Okay. And then... Um, he's snarling Billy Idol. Of course he's going to see it. Then bonus action disengaging. Head for the netting. Okay. Come on! Uh, Rosa! Uh, fuck, you have no idea what's going on, but there's some kind of glow next to the skeleton. Maybe. You aren't sure. It's hard to say. She knows where the netting is. I'm not disputing that. Okay. Go for the netting. Go for the netting. Go so, into the light. All right. I'm going to head. I'm going to, I can, I can disengage. Yeah, I can disengage as a bonus. Tell you what, I'm going to take a swipe at him and then I'm going to disengage your head for the netting. Because why not? Uh, well, that will... Hey, my rapier finally hit. Uh, so that is an 18. So that hits. So it's a D8 plus sneak attack. Piercing. My... What's that? Piercing. Piercing. And yeah, so it's half, but it's still... Five, four, nine plus four is 13. So six points of real damage. And I... For the thing... Um... Where I think it is. I'm going to put a hand up, try to put a hand on it, and I'll try to help people up it. Down. Down. Down it. Oh, down it. Oh, we're going lower. We're going, we're going deeper into the darkness. <laughs> Give me an intelligence check to see if you have remembered where it is at correctly. Oh, yeah, I did. That's, um, that's an 18. Camille, you're up. Okay, so I'm still in front of it, right? Mm -hmm. And they're behind it. They are behind it. Uh, Rosa has found the netting. Okay. So. I do Misty Step. Do you Misty Step down? Well, to where they are. Okay. Okay. You can actually move faster than that. Because they're like, they're like four feet in front of you. Yeah. yeah if you, you want to misty step down, I think the range is 30 feet. And you can take at least one person with you. Well, No, wanna... no, not misty step. That's dimension door. That's dimension door. Yeah. So this says, briefly surrounded by mist, you can teleport up to 30 feet to an unoccupied space. Well, twenty's been 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 the magic number for our descent. So, yeah, if you want to misty step to down, it. you should be able to. So, doing this, can I have? Can I do? So, this is a spell. Mm -hmm. Do I get an action? That is your action. Yeah, that is oh, your okay. action. Yeah. All right, so I do that. D twelve against me. <laughs> oh no. Six. I'll, she'll be fine. Uh, you find yourself at the base of the rigging, looking up, seeing Rosa, 
uh, Rosa and uh, Zadar both used disengage, so the only creature that was going to get hit by this thing uh, was the Misty Stepper, and that ain't going to happen with that. Uh, we'll start with Rosa, since you were first one there. Give me your dex check to see if you can climb down the rigging. Oh, God. Die with a rock to the face. I almost want Zadar to go first, but all right. <laughs> hey, uh, that was not a one. So, uh, it's a, the dex check you said? Yep. Uh, 15. Okay, yeah. You scamper down. Uh, Zadar, you're carrying a cask. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's no. your turn. Okay. Bonus action, I'm going to summon Elman. <laughs> and... <laughs> Okay, my man, guide me out of here, and then I'm going to start climbing down the rigging. Okay, give me your dex check. All right. All righty. Uh, 17. Easily. All three of you are now at the base of it, uh, looking up uh, the vapors move about, and you see the skeleton look down. So... Can we throw up one of our casks and blow it up? Yeah. I think we're I think we're good. <laughs> so let's you, you know you unless to... we're going back up. I mean, we have to. We've you already know, lost the rigging on one of them. I so defer it's... to people with more experience. Okay, you, you would have to launch it twenty feet up. Okay, right. And, and I don't think that, any of you are Scottish. Going back is going to be nearly impossible because we had a 20 foot drop off one of the riggings. One of the riggings fell. So uh, I will take perception check. Oh. Okay. I certainly hope there's another way out to this place. Am I uh, at advantage because I have um, Omen out? No. 22. Eight. Uh, Blah. 12. Uh, Rosa hears a the piercing wail of the whistling. It is very prevalent in this area. She also notices that the surface that you were on is starting to dip at an incline, uh, and there is some scorched stone ahead of you. Also, in the darkness, uh, because your torch has gone out. Ow. You can't see anything else. I will light another torch since we have two more. You see the ghostal outline, ghostly outline of what appears to be a ship. Hey. Maybe 50 yards out. So you hmm. have this scorched area of stone. Yeah. No water and a small ship. The that ship just... is not in water, or the ship is in water? Is not in water. Do I, do I, I don't know, I suppose I can make a, not that I have a train really or anything, but I suppose I can make a history check to see if I know what that ship is. Actually, everybody make your insight check first, and then I'll let you do a history check. Uh, 19. Hey, the pirate die is actually going well. Oh, that was not so great. But 19 uh, insight and nine history, so probably no seven. Clue. Zadar? Uh, uh, 17. Uh, Zadar and Rosa can pretty much now start to put two and two together that this is some kind of old pirate complex, and this must be their ship. Why there is no water is a mystery. It probably was at once, or maybe as a, well, Maybe it has to do with the tides or something, or maybe it was a storm and got washed in. There's this, no way for the water th to get This is bone dry where this is at. Uh, as you approach the ship, you notice the uh, signage on the sign says, this is the Sabre, S-A-B-R-E. You have no knowledge of any ship by that name. Uh, you also notice that the vessel appears to be old. Yeah. Uh, and it sits about 50 feet away from a small pool of water over on the far side. Hmm. Okay. 
Is there rigging on the side of the, the ship netting to climb up? Mm-hmm. Oh, no, you don't need rigging. Uh, you just need a boost. This is a shorter vessel. It's not a full-size pirate ship. Oh, okay. Or a sloop. Okay. All right. Um, I mean, I can send Omen to investigate it. <laughs> flying cat goes flying over. <laughs> is that what you want to do? Mm-hmm. Uh, Omen lets you know there is an iron box on this ship and it has a skull in it that is glowing. Mm. Oh, that's always a good sign. (laughs) I suppose you guys want to rest for about an hour, do you? It's fine with me. I mean, we can, yeah. Four hit points. Yeah. 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 Yeah, Yeah, I don't feel so good. Ow, that very friggin' hurt. Um, all, it's, actually, it's all little things. I only get hit once, I think, by that thing. So you want to rest for an hour? Yeah, we'll take a, a rest short rest. rest. Uh, does your familiar disappear? Uh, I I can keep him out. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I, I didn't know if there was a time frame there. Mm-hmm. Uh, as Omen circles around, I assume, is that mm-hmm. what you're having him do? Yeah, he's stepping uh, about. He's doing the KTLA uh, ACU traffic. ACU weather. <laughs> uh, and you're communicating uh, mm-hmm. ESPN-like. Yes. Uh, as you guys take your short rest, you can go ahead and roll for your hit dice. But uh, Zadar... Omen notices that the eyes are starting to glow as Omen fiddles around. And the last thing you see, oh yeah, 17 and a 15 on the die, uh, are two globes of fire coming out and they hit Omen. Oh, no. Okay. Well, damn it, that's going to cost me 50 gold. <laughs> Oh, poor omen. So, uh, let's see. All right, so I use all my hit dice. <laughs> Woo! Omen takes fifteen hit points of damage. Yeah, I mean he's got like two. <laughs> Aww. Well, they're familiars. I mean, but still. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Where there is death, there is always death. Yes. Mm. All he has to do is resummon him. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe, maybe no, that's like not... this version of him. I'm thinking about us after seeing that, and uh... mm. we know there's a trap on that of some sort or something. Mm-hmm. After an hour. Uh... Did you guys all use... Yeah, I know Rosa used all her hit dice to regain hit points. Uh, Zadar and Camille, did you do that as well? Uh, I, blah, blah. Let's see. Uh, I wasn't down any. Uh, yes, I'm recovered. So. Okay, fair enough. Uh, there's something on that fucking boat. It's apparently a glowing skull. So, yeah, I convey this to everybody, and we saw what it can do. Any ideas on how to deal with that? Um, can you... I don't suppose we can see it, like, through a porthole or something, or... I'm wondering if you cast... Uh, oh, you, you don't have... Wait, you, have, you don't have to tech magic, do you? Well, it's obviously magical. <laughs> I think yeah, that is a fair assessment. But it does. But that tends to also give you a bit of uh, other information. Oh, lordy. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm at, That's not in my repertoire. I can go mess with it. I'm at, I'm feeling much better. But I find feeling if I mess with it, I'm not going to be feeling much better. Uh, but that is sort of what I do. I mean, we can try to look tackle it together. Maybe give each other help. Sure, that goes well. <laughs> what do you guys want to do? I'm there. Uh, is there no, is... Note that the ship is in excellent condition. 
Maybe we can steal it. How are we going to get it? Where are we going to sail this thing? And can anybody sail? Well, he's a pirate. Uh, yeah. I assume that I could. I mean, there's no like. Pirate. I didn't want to make assumptions. So, <laughs> you know, she yeah. could be the cook. I mean, yeah. nice. <laughs> because she's a woman, right? Way to go. Way to make assumptions. <laughs> Hey, I know. Well, that's what I say. <laughs> I'm not making assumptions. That's what I say. Booty trap. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You gotta get it straight. I'm gonna be the captain, and I say actually, I know a pirate crew where the lady is the captain, and one of the guys is a cook. So, and he's a halfling. So hey, I gonna... like to. I like to cook, so No big deal. Okay. Um. So. Um. I don't know. Maybe there's a way that we can cover the gaze of this skull that we see. Oh, that's an idea. So, is there a blanket, bedding, anything? Cloak. I assume we're wearing cloaks. <sighs> it's or your bedroom. Bedroom might be too. Uh, I right. assume something we can cover it with. I'm sure we have something. <laughs> right, Frank? You can go back up and go get the bedrolls that you no. fucking we'll, discarded. We'll use my cloak. So I take I my cloak say, off. We all have cloaks. Yeah. So Wait, I take my cloak. Is the skull on the chest or is it floating? It's on the chest. It's the in the chest. chest. Oh, it's oh. in the chest. Yes. But the chest is open. That's how the... Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Then that answers that question. So, we can just bring it over and drop it on it. We saw where it was, where its gaze is, so we can try we, to come up with... We did not. You ah, did. I saw that. <laughs> so, yeah, so I can go towards the front of the ship, try to board the ship, and close the lid using my trusty mage hand. You uh, can. Yeah. Is that what you want to do? Yeah, I'm going to try to stealth uh, on over there. Uh, let's see. Do you want me to come with, or have you got this? If you would like. Uh, 21 for a stealth check. Sure. Okay. Uh, the boat creaks as you stealthily get into it. Because <laughs> it's old. <laughs> and how far away am I when I get when I reach the deck from and my if, chest? If, if you came in from the front, the chest mm -hmm. is at the back. Okay. How many feet is it? Uh, it is a 60-foot sloop. Okay good news is uh it's beginning to glow and magic missiles come flying out damn it different spell different spell oh interesting so the ship is warded is what it is mm. Mm. Uh, that's a shit roll take six hit points of damage as two magic missiles careen into your body Fuck. Remember, I was going to, so... He was up first. I was up first, so I take the six points of damage. Is that what you're saying? Okay. And, uh... <laughs> magic missile! So... All right. Yeah. And, and now we will roll for initiative. Wow. 22. Uh, it is 15 for Zadar. Uh, 16 on the roll for Camille. Uh, 15. 22. Uh, Rosa, do you want to get into the boat? Yep. I don't know what the initiative's for, but yep. Uh, you get into the boat. Uh, Zadar, you're up, or Camille will be up next when she gets back. Zadar, you go ahead. Uh, do I rolls suck? Okay. Do I see where the magic missiles came from? The box. The box. So the box is attacking us. You know, there's a skull in the box. Yeah, there is a skull in the box. So. Yeah, the skull is attacking us. Yeah. Uh. Uh, all right. I am going to take my movement up ahead 30 feet, use Mage Hand, and try to flip the leg closed. 
Uh, give me a dex check as you run through the unusual boat. Uh, 16. 16 is good enough. Uh, you use the mage hand to flip up the thing. The flip close, yeah. Give me a d12. Okay. 12. Well, <laughs> re-roll. Ow. Three. Seven. Damn it. Uh, it gets caught on some rigging. Uh, Camille, uh, you rolled a 16 on initiative. What would you like to do? I want to help Billy Idol. Uh, so you want to get in the boat, too? If so, you will be behind Rosa. Yes. Fair okay. enough. As you climb up on the side of the boat, uh, fire bolts come out. Five and two. Zadar and Camille are going to be the targets. Ha. Plus five to hit. Uh... Root beer for Zadar, uh, copper for Camille. Uh, I don't think. Oh, plus five. 15 on Zadar, 16 on Camille. Yes. Mrs. Zadar. Camille takes woohoo, seven hit points. Boom, baby. Uh, new round. Rosa. Oh God. Um, so play, I'm going to approach the box. I don't know. It's 60 feet away. Mm -hmm. uh, so and that's... you need to make a dex check because there's shit all over here. I don't know if I should actually get yeah, that. I'm, I'm, I can do that. Um, well, I walk 30, so I'll get up to it with the two actions. Um, I won't make a dex Ground check. Ground zero. <laughs> Ah, uh, I know, I know. It's like, I know, and it's it's, 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 it's a terrible idea. What's your dex check? All right, I'll make a dex check. Um, oh, it's a uh, 17. Uh, you run up to the open chest uh, and gaze lovingly into it and see the glowing skull. Zadar, you're up next. Or, I'm sorry, Camille's up next because she had the 16. I can't bonus action whack the lid closed, can I? Nope. Damn it. And actually, I went out of... No, I, di I didn't go out of order. Oh, no, you're good, you're good. Camille, you're, good. you're up. I'm back. You're good. Mm. You have seen Zadar go halfway up. You've seen Rosa go all the way up. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll learn. I don't know. One of you two tell me what to do. What would you care? Uh, uh, um, oh, it's, this is I don't good. I don't know what you got. I know you got fog, fog cloud. Mm -hmm. You've got ray of frost. Mm -hmm. You've got what else? True strike. Uh, True strike. Mage armor. Fog cloud. Mage hand. Okay. What's uh, your mage hand? Yeah, with the between your mage hand and my mage hand, we can work it past the rigging and. 30 feet. You gotta, you gotta get up there uh, first. Yeah. That's What's your that... movement speed? It's, for her, it should only be 25. 40, so yeah. And the range on a mage hand is 30. Mm -hmm. So she won't be within range. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll do Ray of Frost. Fair enough. Why not? Ugh. And that is, oh god, I can't see. Is it D eight? Uh, you got to hit it first. Oh. Please be a one. Please be a one. Please be a one. No, it's no. not a one. It's 
So 14. Uh, you only need a 13 to hit this thing, so you have hit it. Okay. And... Ah, this thing is gonna beat some serious ass. <laughs> Four and two. Uh, Rosa and uh, Zadar. Sorry. I in its face. So I, it's always the rogues. <laughs> uh, it's not gonna fireball. Oh, God. Which. It really wants to, but it can't. Uh, odd even. Are you even. asking? Okay. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, Rosa, give me a DC 13 versus intelligence, please. Oh, God. Okay. We'll try. Uh, oh, that rolled a 19 on the dice. Was that a save, by the way? Yep. Your eyes go blurry momentarily, but you are able to recover quickly. That's all for that. Uh, 16 plus 6 is 22. It is going to hit Zadar for 9 hit points, baby. Other pus bucket. Uh, top of the order, Rosa. It tried to cast blur on you and failed. Blur? Blur helps me. Blur is actually gives it a mischance. That's what it does. I thought you were going to blind this. No, this thing can't blind. Blur, is, blur usually helps your armor class, so I don't know if, why I wanted to do that. But Okay, so I'm going to try, I guess, seeing her hit it, I'm going to try to, to hit it a couple what? times. It's going to be I don't no, if I get sneak attack on it. Nope, because she was <laughs> using range. Well, you know what? No, I mean, I, no, I could sneak attack even if I'm in its face, no one around me because of the swashbuckler. Ah, that's in that twenty anyway. So uh, what, are you, what are you using? Uh, that would be my regular rapier, but I rolled a seventeen on my dagger, which is magical. Okay. Magical one will do normal damage. The non-magical will do half. Oh, that's fine. But that was a nat twenty, so that's so that'll make up for it. So unless you roll like piss. Well, yeah, you know that. Uh, there's another d8. Okay, two d8 plus a d4. All right. So and you said no sneak attack, right? Correct. Okay, so that is still okay. So the rapier would be two uh, d eight. So that's eight plus four is twelve. So six. So six halved. And six, six halved three or twelve no, halved no, six. Six is the half. Gotcha. Uh, so the dagger, which I guess does full, so that is uh, seven points. Got it. Uh, Camille, you're up next. Uh, um, okay. Yes, go ahead. No, no, no. I saw that look on your face. I thought you were going to go. The look on your face was like, fuck. So that, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to read stuff. My eyes oh, are dry. Okay. okay. Um, I guess I could go Ray of Frost again. Okay. Ah, uh, damn it. Okay. It works. 16. 16 hits. And... Now, are we able to discern if this is a magical object or a creature? Uh, it's an object. Six. Okay. It no effect again because it's immune to cold uh zadar you're up okay i am going to mage hand that lid again <laughs> try to get it get it closed d12 against me okay. well we are hurting it uh, uh 
five, four. Oh. Uh, you shut the lid with and your hand. My mage hand. But you feel the mage hand getting pushed back. D12 against me again. Oh, crap. Okay. It's fighting That's, back. It has mage hand as well, and it's its turn. 19. Oh, no. That's a D12. Damn D12, it. D12, <laughs> and I rolled an 11. God damn it. Five. Lid is open again. Uh, Rosa, top of the order. Hold on. Um, I'm not finished. Bonus action. Cunning action. Gonna take cover. <laughs> Going to try to find cover and uh, jumping out of the boat. You said there was crap all over the place. So. Well, yeah, like rope and shit like that. <laughs> oh, okay. I, well, I was assuming crates and stuff, but no, no crates. Okay. Uh, sails, a rigging, and rope. Okay. This is the treasure, is the boat. Yeah. Assuming you guys can live that long. Rosa, you saw the lid shut. You saw it get crammed back open. I'm going to take a couple more hits at it. Okay. You know, a dispel magic would fix all of this. <laughs> oh, all right. Which, oh, that's that's good, though. Uh, so the rapier would be a 23, and the dagger The dagger is a, seven, a 17. Those both hit, right? Yep. Okay, so... At this um, point, I will have to use fireball. Fireball? I don't have evasion yet, damn it. Okay. Fireball. <laughs> Doesn't want to destroy its home, but... So the rapier did... Okay, so that'd be four points halved. Two? Okay. No, four points is the half. I'm giving okay. you the half. If you, really, if you want to figure it out, that's fine. I don't care. I'll give no, I, I don't care. I just need to know. Okay, so... And the dagger did eight full since you said that one does full damage correct uh camille you're up i'm okay, beating so the snot out of this thing i'll cast mage hand okay and we're we're all gonna try to close this right. damn thing are you shutting the lid headway yes. on the thing we need d12 to. against me it has mage hand <laughs> uh, eight Two, the lid is shut. Zadar. Yes. You're it's up. It's my time. My, mm -hmm. my turn. Uh, uh, it is shut. Uh, is there any kind of locking mechanism or anything like that on it? You haven't been close enough to inspect, inspect it yet. It. Right, right. Uh, okay, I'm going to use my movement to... Put it in your backpack. With, I mean, how with the baby are, doll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be a good idea. We heard it call mama. Uh, so uh, how how big's the, the box? What's in the box? Oh. Big enough for Gwyneth Paltrow's head. head. Exactly. Uh, yeah, uh, just uh, I'm going to use my movement and try to, since it's closed, uh, tie, a, tie a rope around it. Or something like that. Make sure it stays shut. Why? I'm actually making headway against it. <laughs> sure you are. <laughs> uh, okay, so you want you want to leap on it and hold it down and tie it up. Mm -hmm. Give me a performance check to land on it to hold the lid shut, and a performance check to start wrapping it up in rope. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, performance check is 22. So you land on it, uh, mm -hmm. and your weight is going to be too much for the mage hand to move. What's your performance to see if you can tie this thing up? Okay. Uh, uh, 10. Uh, no, there's no way you're going to be able to wrap a rope. But at least I'm sitting on it. <laughs> you are sitting on it, and you feel pressure, Ooh. but not enough to lift it. Top okay. of the order, Rosa. Uh, your associate has uh, one associate has shut the lid on this fucking thing. The other has <clears throat> the other has uh, landed on it and is holding it shut. What would you like to do? What are you gonna do? What do you want to do with it? Well, at this point, I mean, I say I'm open just... the lid again. <laughs> 
if that if you want to go for it then you know i could always let it out <laughs> so no nope. i mean so far we've gotten a reprieve with me oh. sitting well it, it hasn't had its turn in initiative yet that oh, question. No, it did. oh okay what are we going to do with it what do you plan on doing if you tie this thing in the in the chest bury it what do you and do with it, leave it. <laughs> That's what I want to know. That was the only thing that we saw inside the chest, right? Was just the skull. Was it sitting on anything right inside here. the chest? Hey, straw. Okay. All right. Nothing else but the skull. Mm -hmm. That was all you guys noticed. I just want to study or at least that. I noticed. So. The, the ring of three wishes was <laughs> underneath the skull <laughs> itself. <laughs> Maybe Mortimer J. Snead could study it. I'm pretty sure I... We can yeah. take it with us once we have this thing secured. <laughs> I mean, I will. Well, fine. I can try to tie it. What do you need to roll for that? Uh, give me an investigation check. This to tie the rope? No, to your study in it. Oh no! I wanted to tie the rope around the thing. I didn't do very well, anyways. No, I don't want to study. The, I can't study the thing with the door closed, anyways. I just said the it box. Was, You're studying the box. The box. Because he's on top of it. Yeah. Yeah, You're no, going to end up giving him a handy if you aren't careful. <laughs> that's only a six. Uh, you cannot tell that there is a latch on this thing. Uh, Camille, what do you want to do? Zadar has got this thing pinned down like he's some kind of pro wrestler. Can I help him latch it? Uh, give me an investigation check to see if you can spot the latch. <laughs> you got to find it first. It's probably under his foot. Like, you can't do anything into my initiative like say move out the way so <laughs> no you can't i would not move off the box i didn't say move off the box i mean move okay. my thigh out of the way if it's blocking the He's tea the bag in the trunk yeah i'm like <laughs> oh my cat oh my god investigation uh 17 uh, yes, you see the latch. You just need to put something small in it, like the tip of a dagger. You got the rusty Cause it's, dagger. Because it's like that. Yes. So. so, yeah. Okay, roll a d20 as long as it's not a 1. If it's a 1, you're a moil. 14. Uh, you pop the latch down, stick the dagger in it, uh, and tell Zadar, I think it's latched. Okay, yeah, so is it my turn or? Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take rope and start latching this thing too. <laughs> sure. So it's, it's sitting down. Oh, okay. I, I see where so, we're going with this. Yeah. Okay. As long as it's secured, it's secured. So let's just. It appears to be secured. Let's investigate the boat. So everybody roll investigation. Okay. <sighs> Oh, actually, that rolled on a better number. 15. <laughs> uh, 18. 16. From this area, you can determine the whistling is around the corner where the water is. Okay. Um, Inside it, the boat is just rigging, sails, and standard nautical equipment. Does it I don't know what if that water wasn't something. Uh, I want to go check out the water. Sure. Because Lua reached through it and grabbed me and pulled me and I'll disappear. So. The scorch mark on the stone that you noticed when you were coming towards the boat appears to be in a spherical formation. As you go around to where the water is, you notice there is a lot of debris from the ceiling as if there was a cave-in, possibly from extreme heat. The oh, whistling okay. is coming from some of the uh, crumbled rock that is above the water line. So the air is coming in and whistling through the rock. But the rock itself appears to have created a dam to the outside. As you find the whistling noise, you notice it's fresh air. Okay. I have an idea. Hmm. <laughs> I um, pull out one of the torches and I start taking the wadding off of it and wide it and wad it around one of my crossbow um, quilts, bolts, bolts mm -hmm. corals. 
uh, and uh, say, if we can take this very volatile fluid, put it on the rock formation that we see out of there, set the, the bolt on fire and try to fire it into the thing <laughs> the to cask. See if, into the cask and see if it it lodges any of the the rock free and maybe we can or buries us all alive how big how can we tell how big like the opening is was there with the cave in can we tell how big that was probably just barely large enough for the boat to get through it's true yep all right so i say we go for it <laughs> And on, I'm thinking maybe the safest spot be standing on the ship. I take a second one and start to <laughs> widen it up too. So how many casks are are you going to use? Well, he has one. I have one. Right. Yeah. So he, you're just using yours, correct? I mean, I propose mine, but I mean, we could do you can have mine. two. Yeah. I mean, I, I I don't care. I'm just asking. Okay, we'll put them both together on on there. Um, so so doing all this and with the keg, I'm looking at the water. Do I see anything in the water? <laughs> no, the water's only about an inch or two deep. Okay, no problem. So I'm going to walk on up. I'm going to place the cask. And uh, I'm trying to see what the range is on my crossbow is. 30 feet. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to stand back about... 30 feet sure and uh yeah uh i'm gonna say rosa you got your flint and steel yeah i hand it to you and i go back on the ship because i, I went to the ship because i think the water is gonna come in you're using both barrels correct do we want to use both barrels speak up now <laughs> the wisdom yeah. of solomon here <laughs> I mean, you could always, you could always, if it would be better, maybe we could do a timed fuse where you take, like, um, I'm sure we could find rags or something or sacrifice cloak or whatever and light that on fire. And I, would... I mean, is there a cork or, or, or anything on the keg? Or is it just. Oh, like yeah, a there's, a yeah there's, no, a, there's, there's a bung hole. There's a bung. There's a bung. The bung okay. hole. Okay. It's up to you guys. Dwarvens my... call it the bungholio. The bungholio. I am bungholio. <laughs> uh, so do we have some TP to stick in this bungholio? <laughs> Is there any cloth on the ship that we can use? Yeah, there's material. plenty. There's sails. Yeah. yeah. You know, and... but there's also the wadding from the torch, so I can kind of pull it out a little bit. And, and yeah. that's bubble. Um, if, if you're trying to do a timed thing, that's probably not a good idea. You're going to have to run it through the water. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I was proposing the crossbow bolt. So. Yeah. But then, but then if, I mean, if the ship came in through there, that would imply there's probably water on the other side, which means if you do that and you blow the, even if you're safe from the explosion, you might not be from a, of course, maybe the tide's low. Is the tide low? Would I know what time it is? You have no idea what time it is. You know, you started in the morning. You know, if water rushes in, we're on a boat. Well, we're on a two, boat. two of them are on a boat. Yeah. You're within 30 feet. You I'm ain't on the run boat. run my ass off. <laughs> I don't know if I like this plan. I think I'd rather see something timed and you get on the boat too. How, am, how are we going to do something timed? There's, it's you put, water. You put a piece, well... Well, I mean, it is, you know, the alcohol is flammable. You Dun could... Dungeon Master. I mean, it is uh, it's, uh, timed uh, oh, wait. fuse didn't possible. Only, didn't you say there's only like one pool of water? There's no way to evade that with a fuse? None. Because the ship is a good 120 feet back. Right. And the water... Even though it's only an inch or two, you're going to have to run the fabric through the water. Yeah. I'm going, well, I say we take our chances. Camille, what's your vote? vote? We take our chances. Fire, I mean, away. Yeah. fire away. Yeah. So, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, what's that, Rosa? 
I'm on the ship. I'm not going to take, yeah. I'm not taking those kind of chances. Okay. So I am going to strike uh, the, the flint and seal, get the, the bolt lit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> going to take my aim. Fire at will. Okay. Do, what, what do I need to, to fire to hit it? 14. 14. Uh, 18. Thunk sticks in the side of the cask. Doesn't pierce it enough. Insight. Mm-hmm. Okay, I am re- I am ready to dash. <laughs> As my bonus action. So <laughs> let's see. Insight. I'm thinking it's going to take a second or so to ignite. Okay, would a 12 tell me that? <laughs> No, <laughs> just, you aren't. You aren't sure if you need another shot or not. Just him, or can we make insights? Okay. You guys are nowhere near him. Okay, that, that's fair. All right. I am watching to see. I'm taking the, the second bolt, reloading, striking. Reloading. It. You strike it, but as you strike it, boom! Oh, <laughs> vapor! <laughs> vapor! Damn it! Everything ignites. Okay. There is cloud of smoke everywhere. We were waiting for that. <laughs> it looks like fucking Lebanon at this point in time. Rocks oh, are now dropping out. Well, you know, got to have a visual. Rocks are dropping out of the sky. Everybody roll dex check. Uh, Zadar, you have to roll it four times as you okay. are close to the blast. Okay. Uh, 16. 16 escapes. Okay. Uh, 15. Hang on. 15 barely escapes. Okay. Uh, the second one is 22. 14 14 does not make it. Okay, that's two. So two. two, Two successes. Four damage, Camille. Uh, 20 for the third. And uh, 15 for the final one. So all four of your checks are valid. Now let's see if I do any damage to the ship. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Hey, come on. It's an adventure. I want the ship, damn it. The ship gets hit three times. Oh, shit. Uh, one, a two, and a five. Eight damage. Uh, the That's vessel so is slightly damaged. Uh, water is now rushing in at a rather enormous rate. Uh, D12 against me, Zadar. Okay. I'm running for the wheel, by the way. The wheel? The of the ship? ship. Oh, okay. Right here. Okay. Uh, nine seven uh your dashing pays off as you're running give me one more d12 roll okay a one yeah as long as i don't roll a one (laughs) okay again six six instead of nine so you run you get right to the ship just as water starts to lap at your boots uh, the ship is on a ridge, and it is still in a dry area. You guys are going to have to push this vessel out as sunlight begins to stream in from the outside as the dust begins to settle. Uh, is it on rollers or anything like that? that can yeah, rollers? yeah, it's on skateboards. To go ahead. And- <laughs> no, you know, like, hey, if they it, built this ship, they might have built it to launch. It you know? was beached here apparently oh. there's still enough rubble out there that you aren't getting the full force of the water also rosa low tide oh it is low tide it is low tide so uh you now have an exit point to get outside uh i don't think you guys are going to be strong enough to push it so, you so guys we have can to always wait come this back evening yeah yeah or you can leave and come back yeah because i'm sure there aren't fishermen that are going to steal this. Hey, Bo! No, 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 I'm going to hang out on it. I'm going to start picking up all the debris. Uh, you will be able to hear uh, the skeleton still roaming the upper concourse region 
waiting for halftime. Uh, with that, that puts us well over. You're welcome, Kyle. Let's Damn go. Damn it, Kyle. <laughs> final thoughts. Uh, Carrie, final thoughts? It was good. I liked it. Good. Carol? Well, good uh, good adventure for a swashbuckling pirate. So that that was very appropriate. Hey, and I didn't have somebody come and try to murder me from the from the meta plot, so that's good too. The rocks could have gotten you, but oh well. Yeah. David, final thoughts. <laughs> go, go big or go home. So <laughs> that's what I said. Now you used both barrels, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Grogan's fire water is gone. You'll have to ask Ernie about that. He has a great story. Yeah. Uh, folks, uh, that's it. I almost got him this time. <laughs> he did. He almost got they me. They would have been fucked. He does guys, because he loves me. <clears throat> you guys need to find the flying J at some point in time. But uh, young DMs out there who just want to run an urban adventure. There's always room for some caves. You just have to figure out how to do it. Uh, <laughs> folks, uh, don't forget to follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want our crap, it's down there. If you want our Discord, it's down there. If you want to see it on here, M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail. Let us know. We'll get you on here. <laughs> uh, thank you, Pirate Dog Dice. Thank you, OddFishGames.com for your sponsorship. Uh, join us Saturday when Carol returns with the other campaigners to see what the hell's going on in Yaddle. Uh, spoiler alert, they're going to get their shit pushed in in Yaddle because they're clumsy Ew. and not clever. Uh, folks, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., thanks for joining us. Producer, uh, we're all going to wave. Get us the frick out of here, because i got to pee. Okay, wave. <laughs> More. You're muted. Transition.